The elite classes and horses work in Battlefield 1. On the official BF1 website, we've just had a wealth of information dropped on us all that reveals loads of juicy information about the gameplay mechanics of these new features. So then, because it's kind of interesting and new, we're going to start with the elite classes. These are the weird looking dudes that have been popping up in the trailers and the screenshots. We've got LMG, Night Guy, Flamethrower Dude and BDSM Convention Big Rifleman. Now we actually know their names now and what they do. So in BF1, these guys are called elite classes that by design can change the course of the battle. They're a bit OP basically. Still no word on how you get to play as them. I think it would make most sense if you could spawn in as them every now and again but they could also be pickups or flag assets. Flamethrower dude is aptly named Flame Trooper and he wears fire resistant gear and carries a massive flamethrower. Flame resistant gear insinuating that incendiary grenades and maybe even explosions won't hurt him that much. However his weakness is that he's permanently wearing a gas mask which slows him down and lowers his field of vision. So it's a slow moving high AoE damage class that you do well to stay away from and attempt to kill from afar, otherwise you're surely going to face hot scorching death. Moving on, the sentry. This is the guy with the massive water-cooled machine gun wearing the armor suit who gets shot in the head in the latest trailer and gives no fucks. Thick armor plating so you can probably absorb more damage. From the description it looks like he's got a load of ammunition to play with so he can put out a massive body of fire and suppress entire squads, do a load of damage, but his weakness is that he doesn't wear a gas mask so his direct counter naturally would be to throw gas at him and run away then shout at him to go back to the King Arthur and the Knights of Justice cartoon from the 90s. And finally BDSM guy, his name is actually the Tank Hunter and he carries a massive 1918 Tank Kavir which is an incredibly powerful anti-tank weapon but from the description on the website it can only be fired whilst prone so therefore you've got to get a well placed shot from this weapon and if you do that it's capable of knocking out a vehicle's tracks, machine guns, cannons on armoured vehicles or just blowing them up. They don't call it the Tank Kavir for nothing. So there we've got three elite classes to choose from and it says that we'll be able to try these out in the beta too. Uh, we'll find out tomorrow probably in the live stream exactly how these work. I've already seen some concerns on Twitter and the Battlefield website where people are saying that they think these guys will be too OP and the same as the heroes in Battlefront. I don't think that's the case and I don't think it's going to be that way at all. Uh, DICE knows that this isn't Battlefront, it's a Battlefield game and I think it would be stupid to put a character as powerful as like fucking Luke Skywalker or Boba Fett in the game it's a battlefield game and obviously that wouldn't make sense and I think with the beta they're going to look at the data and feedback and balance things accordingly by the sounds of it they're very short-lived characters that if you play well and smart can be effective in short bursts but have limited use and won't be seen very often in game so we shall see Trotting on now to horses. There was a healthy dose of horses in the new trailer and we've seen them creeping in the teasers in the background, lurking in the shadows, waiting for the opportune moment to strike and munch your face off with their disgusting teeth. Look guys, I had a bad experience with a horse once. I'm sorry, I need to stop throwing shade on our equestrian brethren. So horses played a big part in World War 1 and made that era of combat quite unique. You've got this interesting clash of old combat meets new horses versus tanks for example and it looks like that's a reality in BF1. On to the details then, it says that we'll be able to trample enemies whilst galloping, so horse road kills confirmed, you'll be able to use swords on them whilst moving, horse saber kills confirmed, will there be decapitation? Probably not, shame dice please though you'll be able to use rifles on them too to shoot from medium and longer ranges which can be fired from horseback and get this as you saw in the new trailer anti-vehicle grenades or bombs whatever these things are they make big boom booms and you can lob them from your favorite stallions at tanks and cars hundred dollars to the first man or woman who manages to take out an aircraft with a horse bomb in a real game without faking it speaking of which that got me thinking, can we get a horse on top of a plane that's landed, fly it into the air and land on top of the airship? horse on a zeppelin just imagine the possibilities i mean these things guys they have to be tested these are the important questions we have to ask 
They also have secondary items in the form of mobile supply stations so they can do stuff like drop ammo and bandages from saddlebags to help team members stay in the fight. I think that's pretty cool adding a team play element to the horse combat. I like it. The article on the site says that horses have a lot more health than a rider too but of course it's a big target and normal bullets are going to damage it. It's not like a tank that you can only destroy with rocket guns or explosives. I imagine that if you see a horse on the battlefield and it's an enemy horse you're just going to light it up. Now if you want to ride a horse you've got to select it on the deployment screen as seen here or you can jump on one that you've just come across on the battlefield. You'll also be able to jump off the horse too if you want to but it can be stolen by another player or enemy player if you're not careful. So in theory one team could actually end up with all the horses on the map and start a ranch in their deployment. Interestingly, apparently the horse will act like a real horse too, so if you head towards a cliff in the game on top of a horse and falling off that cliff will result in death, the horse will stop and refuse to go over the cliff, it ain't going to commit suicide basically. So it looks like there's going to be some invisible walls in the game that the horse will react to. Also it can go into shallow water but will not swim out to sea, and if you gallop towards an obstacle it will try and avoid it or jump over it. The horse will have a lot of character and respond to what's happening in the game world. It it all sounds pretty cool to be honest and from recollection we've never had a rideable animal in a battlefield game before. From the footage we've seen though the horses admittedly look brilliant and a lot of fun. Again tomorrow on the live stream we'll get some real gameplay of them to analyse and I'm definitely looking forward to that. Also one final note about the beta as I said in the previous video it does start officially on August 31st but I read online that if you sign up on the battlefield insider website you can possibly get into a day earlier so a little bit of a tip for you there. Let me know your thoughts down below guys what devious things can we attempt to do with the horses when the beta comes out. Thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up if you didn't a thumbs down and I'll see you in the next one.